gifted at making you cuss. Yeah, it's, it's, it's somebody, they know how to push the right buttons where you don't even recognize yourself. I mean, you got to step out of it and say, I don't even care you like that. I don't even know what happened to me. How in the world did they make me lose my hair? I ain't never hung up on somebody so many times and they keep calling back. Who's, who, who's making you lose your head? When people got to hold you back. Who's making you lose your head when you get so angry you want to cuss or cry? Who's making you lose your head where you can't even focus at work? Who's making you lose your head where you don't even feel at peace in your house? They cut off his head, took his body, and they told Jesus... What happened? And I'll close and leave you here. And Herod thought he got away with chopping and screwing one of Jesus' disciples. Thought it was scot-free, that there were no consequences and repercussions for messing with a friend of God. They're going on with their life as if what they did to you didn't happen. The devil is a liar. You're going to pay one way or another, but... He, he thought he got away with it. Until we get to Luke chapter 23. And Luke chapter 23, hey! for the first time, rolls up on Jesus. Says, man, I've been hearing about you. I wanted to meet you. Can you do me a favor? Perform for me a miracle. I'm in Luke 23, verses 8 and 9. And the Bible says, Jesus ignored him and kept walking. I came to tell you this, this is going to release 500 of y'all in the room. Uh, he, he asked for a sign and a miracle, and Jesus wouldn't even talk to him. God, help me. I, I want to say to somebody who's in here, if you were wronged, if you were down in, if you have been set up by somebody, that even if they try to act like it didn't happen, when they go and try to pray, and ask God for something. God ain't even going to talk to them. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me in here. He said, how are you going to talk to me when you did that to my mans and them? You can't cut off his head. Be seated. I'm coming to get you. Yes. Uh, this year, watch this. Your enemies are getting the tables turned. Because what they did, tried to do to you, God is getting ready to do it to them. I just call your haters and just leave on their answering machine. Track number seven, T-Pain. God, help me in here. You've officially been chopped and screwed. You should have never messed with me because touch not my anointing. God, help me. Be seated. I'm coming. I, I told y'all I'm coming. Don't push me. I'm close to the edge. L look at your neighbor and tell him I'm getting ready to do it to my enemies. That what my enemies meant for evil, God meant it for good. They thought after they left me that I wasn't going to get my life together. They thought after it didn't go their way that I wouldn't be all right without them. But I rose this morning just in case my haters showed up to tell them, look at me. I'm a testimony. I didn't make it on my own. But somebody, somebody prayed for me. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, a moment ago when I danced, I 
dance for the king. But I got one more dance, and this dance is for my enemies. You meant it for evil, but God, he meant it for good. If you got one last dance, I dare somebody to shout for joy. I dare somebody to clap your hands. This is the day that the Lord has made. I, I will, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Say, neighbor, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't got a dance. If you haven't had any traps, you ain't got to praise them. But if you came through hell, came through fire, came through the storm, you got to praise them. You got to give them the eye. 